Now at TaylorMade, we offer three distinctive different styles of fits of boat covers. Universal, semi-custom, and custom cover fits. They each offer different features and benefits, and a lot of the which cover you choose depends upon what use you're going to use for that cover. Now the custom covers are made to fit a specific make, model, and year boat. So they are the best fits that we offer. Now, because we go through the process every year of finding that specific boat and go th going through the fitting process we do to make up the patterns, we know where every, every cleat, every bow eye, every gas cap, we know exactly where the windshield is. So anything that could prematurely wear that cover, we reinforce the bottom of it. So the custom covers offer the best fits and also a lot of nice options like the reinforcements. And we also put quarter inch nylon rope into the hem instead of the shock cord with a quick tensioning and loosening device called the rope lock. Now in addition, the custom covers are available in two different fabric up upgrades. So we offer it in the basic poly cotton fabric, but you can also upgrade to our hot shot and our Ultima fabric. So you get the best fit, the best fabrics, the best features in the custom covers. Now up from the semi-custom fits is our custom line. Now we offer thousands and thousands of patterns and those are designed for a specific make, model, and year boat. So, a 1996 Sea Ray Signature 23. So, again, on our, on our website, we have a boat cover fitting guide where you can start with your manufacturer and work your way all the way through to the part number that you need for your boat. So I encourage you to check that out. Okay, we're getting ready to try on our custom cover. I've chosen a clean, dry area to do this. Your garage, perhaps, or out in the yard. But you want to make sure that in the event that you've chosen the wrong cover or there's any issues with it, you want to be able to return it in as good as possible condition as you can. So keeping it clean is important. Now, after we've kind of unfolded it, the first thing we've done is to identify the bow in the stern section of the cover. Now, the bow on the inside you can see all the reinforcement patches in this cover, by the way. There's a sewn-in label that's going to indicate, hey, this is the front of the bow. Now, in a V-Hull bow rider, it's pretty easy because the bow is very pointed compared to the stern, but you want to locate that bow section. The other thing you want to do is find the stern. Now, we've got a cutout in the stern where the rope comes out, as you can see, but also there's another sewn-in label in the stern. This sewn-in label is going to have the manufacturer, it's a C-Ray, going to have the part number, uh, uh, description of the boat, the date of manufacture, and now it's always a good idea to cross-reference the part number on this sewn-in label with the part number on the box that you received, just to be sure before you go forward that the two match. Now what we're going to do is stretch this cover out. Now with the top side up, I'm going to roll this cover up towards the bow in preparation of getting it on the boat. Okay, we're ready to install our custom cover for this 1996 Sea Ray. We've located the bow, we've hooked that section over the front of the boat, and now we're just going to roll the whole cover back. Now when you get to the corners of the windshield, you want to be a little careful that you don't catch the cover and tear it. The last thing you want to do is put a hole in your brand new cover. Now because it's a custom cover, there's a sewn in windshield reinforcement right where it needs to go. But if it were uh, universal or perhaps a semi-custom, you always want to be careful when you're putting that cover on of any sharp corners that you might come into. Okay, we've got our cover pulled down over the boat, got it over the stern corners and in the bow, centered it left to right on the boat. Now we're going to go to the stern and you'll notice there'll be a cutout section of the cover where our quarter inch nylon rope comes out of the hem. Now with all of your custom covers, we include this quick lock rope adjuster which is a quick tensioning and loosening device. So what you're going to do here is simply pull on that rope, 
through the adjuster and tighten that rope in the hem of the cover down tightly against your hull. Okay, we've drawn this rope tight in the hem of the cover down tight against the hull. Now remember, you want to get that pretty darn tight when you're going to trailer this boat behind the car. If it's going to be in your yard or perhaps even indoor storage, no need to get it that tight because it just makes it a little bit more difficult to get the cover on and off. Now, any extra rope that you have after you've got it secured, feel free to cut off and discard it. Don't cut it too short because remember, the cover's got to come back out to get it on and off. Okay, included with all of our custom covers is a tie-down kit. The tie-down kit includes 10 8-foot lengths of our polypropylene webbing with UV additives for longevity. And in the perimeter of the cover, you'll find our tie-down loops with the adjustable buckle already sewn in. Now the straps themselves have a loop sewn in one end, so what you're going to do is locate its position on the trailer as in line as you can find with the loops on the cover. Simply thread the end through, then bring that end up to the adjuster buckle, thread it through. Now, the instructions that come with the cover has some close-up pictures so you can see just exactly how to thread these buckles. Okay? And then tighten to secure. You're going to want to repeat this for all of the straps around the perimeter of this boat. Okay, we're just about finished with the installation of our custom cover. I wanted to mention, as you're going around installing the tie-down system, each of these straps, you may find an area in the stern or like this where you have a lot of extra webbing. Feel free to cut that webbing off, but take a, a lighter and just flame the edge so that the fabric doesn't unravel. Okay, we've finished the installation of our custom cover, and we're ready for the road. I just wanted to go one more time through some of the features and benefits of our custom covers. First is the fit. We have thousands of patterns available that go back to the early 80s in a lot of cases, all the way up through 2009 models, where the cover is fit to the specific make, model, and year of your boat. Now, because we've gone through that process, any sharp thing, any windshield corner, and every patch, every bow cleat, you're going to have a reinforcement sewn in to the underneath of that cover so that any potential wear areas are minimized and that cover will be reinforced. Tie-down kits and the uh, additional feature of having the rope in the hem with the rope lock, the quick release and tensioning mechanism. So, for the best fit and the best features, you want to go with a custom cover. Now, the other thing that I want to mention is the custom covers are available in three fabric options, right? It's poly cotton, which is a good entry level choice. Our hotshot polyester, which is a pigment dyed uh, material, six and a quarter ounce polyester that has a five year warranty. Or if you really want to upgrade, you go with our Ultima fabric, which is a five year warranty, a solution dyed polyester material. Now all of that information is readily accessible right on our website, tailormadeproducts.com. And use our boat cover fitting guide online to select the right part number and fabric of your choice for your boat. Thank you very much. One of the most important things you can do for your boat cover to add to its useful life is to support it so that water doesn't lay in the back of the cover or in the front for that matter. So some of the accessories that we offer are the boat cover support pole. Now this support pole is our standard variety. It adjusts from 36 to 64 inches in height. And you can see it simply telescopes inside one another with a thumb screw to adjust. On each end is a crutch tip so that it stays put in place. So the idea here is to simply locate the position on your cover where you want to support it that'll help let that water run off and adjust the height of the support pole to provide the amount of tenting that you can given your cover and boat situation. Another boat cover support pole that we offer is our super support pole. Now the adjustment is the same, 36 inches to 64 inches in height, 
But the in inside pole accommodates for a variety of uses for your specific cover. Now, if you have a snap installed, a male snap is on this end, or if you have a grommet in your cover, we have the pin tip on this end. So, the idea again is to locate that spot on your cover to provide the support, locate that snap, snap it in place underneath, adjust the height of the pole to provide the tenting required given your specific boat and cover situation.